Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. Okay, so today I'm going to quickly show you how to make your Windows 10 operating system faster. Okay, so let's really crank up that speed, okay? We we want our computer to be nice and quick. We don't like it being sluggish. Okay, so first things first, we are going to go down the bottom here and type in msconfig. Okay? So as you can see it's come up there so system configuration. Okay, so we're going to click on that and we are first going to go to boot. Okay? And on this screen, this is your boot options, okay, for your Windows computer, okay? So first things first, you need to go to advanced options. And we're just going to change the number of processors to use to the maximum amount. Okay, so I can select eight there. So you might only be able to select four, depends on what processor you have. Okay, so I'm going to go with eight, and I want to use the maximum memory. Okay, so I've got 16 gig. So as you can see, it's come out 16 gig there, 16384. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm now going to go OK. Right, and also, um, when you build up Windows here, you have the the logo pops up, okay, so the little GUI screen, okay, so we actually want to tick that, because that, believe it or not, does actually slow down the boot up process of Windows, and we're just going to quickly change the timeout to 3 seconds. Right, so you now need to select Make All Boot Settings Permanent, okay. And we're going to go apply. Okay, so you now need to go yes. Okay, so that's all permanent now. So that's step one. So now we need to go to our services. Okay, and we're going to hide all Microsoft services. Okay, so as you can see, I've got loads of services there. Okay, not all of them are running, but obviously some of them are. So basically on here you want to go through and disable any services that you do not requ require. Okay, so like BlueStacks. I don't need that to boot up with my Windows system. Okay, I don't even need that running right now in the background, even though it says stopped. But yeah, obviously normally it would be running in the background. So I don't want that running um, or booting up with my system, okay? So also Google Update, um, like here we've got Live Update for IO Bit. So obviously that's a cleaning program. It's running at the moment. I don't actually need that running, and I don't want it to boot up my computer. So I'm going to disable that service, okay, by unchecking it there. Right. So just quickly go through. So you've got Punk Buster there. That's for gaming. I don't really need that on, to be honest. I can just boot up when I load my games automatically, okay? So yeah, just go through very quickly and only disable the programs that you don't need, okay? So obviously, don't want to disable my antivirus because that's important, so yeah. Right, so and then hit apply, okay? And now go to startup, right? So now this will open up our task manager. And here we need to do the same again. So I don't want Raptor, Desktop App to load with Windows. So I'm going to right click and select Disable. And I don't want this Plays TV to load with Windows. So I'm going to right click and Disable again. And yeah, that'll do. So only disable the programs that you don't want to load with Windows there. Okay, so now we've done that. Okay, we are now going to right click on our Windows logo down here and we are going to go to um, System and we're now going to go to Advanced System Settings. Okay, and close that window and we're going to go to Performance and we're going to go Settings and we are now going to go um, adjust for best performance so that's unselected everything but we are now going to go use Trop shadow so we're going to select that and just got to find it now we're going to use show thumbnails instead of icons okay 
and also we want I think actually that is everything okay yep that is everything so we now need to hit apply okay and as you can see nothing has changed on Windows there but believe it or not that will make your computer so much faster it's quite amazing how much difference that makes okay so we're now going to go okay and okay so that's a very quick little tutorial there on how to make your computer or Windows operating system a lot faster. I hope this tutorial helped. If you'd like me to do another tutorial on even more tips and go into more depth on how to make Windows even faster yet again, comment below and yeah, we will get another tutorial out on that. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit that like button below and subscribe for more Computer Sluggish tutorials.